And we're back with another video on Gotham Knights, where, you know, I pretty much, I'm not too crazy about the mechanics of the game. The thing is, I feel like it's not enough. That's my opinion, though. But anyways, um, the mechanics of the game, I have a bit of problem with. I mean, it's not like I can't play it. I mean, I can play it, but it feels like I'm playing in the 1990s with just better graphics. That's all. Right. But then again, you know, I don't even think well, what the hell was happening in the 1990s. I don't remember. Anyways, Where's let's talk to Alfred. Penguin wouldn't talk. I don't have the same sway here I had back in Bloodhaven. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so caught up in Batman's last case, we haven't been paying attention to the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Plus Penguin's own businesses. Maybe if we pay those a visit, take care of a few of the crimes, he'll be ready to talk. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Batman's gonna be a tough act to follow. You never were one for stage fright. An encrypted message from Fox Techoff. Sorry I've been a ghost since the funeral, but I just realized I forgot to send flowers. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's meet in my building. I'd like to give you them in person. Lucius Fox wants to give us flowers. Does he know couriers exist? Knowing Lucius, I suspect he has something far more useful for us. When you reach Fox Tecca, head straight to the roof. In today's Gotham Minute, we focus on a prominent and often controversial figure. Oh, come on. Why do I need to check the evidence for The most infamous, if not famous, member of Gotham's long established Cobblepot family, Oswald Cobblepot, entered into business from a young age. These days, he can often be seen in person when welcoming guests at his entertainment palace, the Iceberg Lounge. But it was only a few short years ago that Cobblepot was better known as the Penguin. A notorious gangster tried and convicted for a litany of fine. All right, where the hell are we heading? Let's go to Lucius, which should be him, or him. What the hell? Oh, this is interesting. So many things going on. I don't know where to go. All right, so I'm going to take a bet and go here instead then. Might be wrong, but better than sitting in the middle not knowing what the hell I'm going to do. See, the, it's actually very tough on the control. Whoa! Totally dead end. Who the hell are you? Maybe I don't know how to access it or something. I don't know. Because right now, it totally doesn't make sense. I don't know who the hell he is. He's some guy with the glasses, right? Oh, 
Come on. What the hell? See, this is what I'm saying when I said the gaming mechanics is horrible. I mean, usually I don't care, right? But it just feels so bad. That's all. Got interesting. That's a girl. Oh boy, I was totally wrong. Nightwing, it's been a while. Where you been? I was expecting your boss. I've been traveling abroad, finding myself, seeing the sights in Bloodhaven mostly. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. I doubt I'll have any more sway with the new commissioner than you do. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes. And dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. So the good ones are left to fight or give in to the pressure. Hmm. The force sounds worse than ever. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Of course. Anyone crazy enough to fight crime in this city is worth fighting for. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. It's nice to see you too, Montoya. All right, so that was Montoya, and I guess Lucius is over here then. I mean, where's my bike? That's at a thousand three hundred something miles away. They should be able to let me to like set the coordinates, right? Maybe an auto drive there or something. I don't know. Right now, I have to keep on holding. Whoa! Yeah, that's, that's... Wow, I definitely went the wrong way. I gotta go through the bridge, right? You know, I think this is better here. So luckily I could do that. If I had to carry the bike, that would be so sad. Went to the other side of the city. This kind of reminds me of Spider-Man. I'm not even sure if uh, Gotham is actually this big. I don't even think the original Gotham was this big. I don't know. You see, I was aiming the other way, and somehow I went right. Makes no sense.
Enjoying the view, Lucius? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Batman was always big on keeping a step ahead of everyone. Don't know how he kept up with Gotham, though. I always feel five steps behind the city. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks. I guess. Don't thank me yet. The mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tekka. As long as I got a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... You gonna introduce me? It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. Our own personal ride share. This is great, Lucius. Now you can thank me. Thanks. Lucius, ready with the drone. How does it work? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Makes sense, I guess. Lately, the GCPD's not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne... We'll no longer be airborne. So how do we deal with the surveillance drones? A creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans would be required. I assume that's where I come in. Get up close and personal for some scans? The cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. And after I'm done scanning, our drone will be clear for takeoff. Got it. I'll send you the location of the first one so you can get to work. All right, we're gonna go drone hunting. To sort of speak, anyways. So I'm assuming the yellow thing is a drone. Maybe, I don't know. Is there anything closer I could go to? Oh, hell. Huh? Alright, newbie. Alright, definitely not a drone. I don't know what to do. 